Hi guys, this is your girl Shatara1000, also known as the Facing23 on Twitter. I ask that you guys would please follow me. I will be placing the link down below so that you guys can click it and go right to it. Okay, today I'm going to be doing a uh, neutral eye look using the um, Wet n Wild palette. And this is the third look I will be doing. Okay, it has the beautiful brown, the beiges, the dark brown, you know, those neutral colors. Very beautiful colors. Um, if you want to see how I got this look, continue to keep watching. Um, this is going to be a full live tutorial, so no music today. Okay, just continue watching and check me out and see how I get this look. First, I'm going to prime my eye with the Mono Concealer. Just going to take any finger and just blend it out. My big, fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to go into this beige color right here. I'm going to place this all over my lid. This is going to act as a base for the shadows. Okay, now I'm going to take my e.l.f. flat shader brush. And I'm going to be dipping it right on into this gold color right here. Let's see, right there. Okay, I'm just going to pick it up and put it all over the lid. Now I'm going to take that same fluffy brush I started off with and go back into this beige color and just blend this out so I want to don't have a harsh edge okay the next color I will be going into is this color right here a nice coppery brown color with a lot of shimmer to it gonna take my elf studio um, flat shader brush just dip it in there place it right here on the corner and I'm also going to use it to blend it in with the gold color as well so you use whatever brush you would like to use to blend it in those two colors together and we'll have a nice transition I'm just going to take a little bit more of that to deepen it right here in the crease and just um going in a back and forth motion will nicely blend the colors together okay now I'm going to take this elf um what is this called angled brush I usually use this for my um to, to apply my highlight but today I'm going to use it to kind of cut the crease you can call it cut the crease if you like I'm going to go into this matte brown color right here I'm just going to take the tip of it and dip it in there like so. And I'm going to flip it and just kind of make a sharp line and bring it over. Just like that. Okay. So just take some of that color off, kind of just blend it out just a little. Okay, 
Now I'm going to take my blender brush and dip it in there just a little bit, the same uh, matte brown, and just go ahead and blend. gonna take some more and just keep um, deepening that brown until I get the color that I want. Okay, just keep going into deep so it's looking alike basically like the other eye. Bring that down. And I'm going in a circle of motion. Okay. Now I'm going to take that flat, um, not flat, the fluffy brush, and I'm going to dip it back into that beigey color I started off with and use it as a highlight and to make everything just fade and blend well. Okay, now I'm going to take my eyeliner. This is a brown eyeliner. Since I'm doing a neutral eye, I think a brown um, eyeliner would be best. Um, you know, that's just my opinion. But this is brown. This is by NYC. And I'm just going to take it and line my eye. I'm going to take the same pencil and just line my lower lash line. it for liner. Now I'm going to take my CoverGirl um, Lash Blast Fusion in brown. to take my Black Radiance Black Mascara and just go right over that. Okay, now I'm going to go back into this Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to take that gold color that we started off with. it right here in the tear duct area. Okay. And just um, do as I did on the top eye going on the bottom lash line. That's basically it. Now I'm just going to take this coppery brown, the shimmery one, and place it right here in the middle. Okay. Connecting those two together have a nice smooth transition and then go ahead and back into this matte brown color and place that right there and connect it upward you can do this before you add your mascara mascara or whatever for my lips I will be using NYC lipstick called Cafe. It's a beautiful nudie color. And I already pre oh, I already pre-moisturized my lips. So this is a nice frosty color, nude color. I have been obsessed with lipsticks lately. And then I'm going to take, this is by NYC, all the um, 
letters and everything came off of it. But this is by NYC. It's a lip gloss. It's a, like a brown color. And I'm just gonna pop that right there and blend it together. Sometimes I find that you might have to use your finger to make sure everything is blended well. That's what I like to do sometimes. Okay. And now I'm going to take this brown lip liner by Maggie. And I'm just going to lightly line my lips. I don't like to put a whole lot because I just don't want that look. And just rub it away a little bit. this is the final look. This is using the Wet n Wild palette, the neutral color palette. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys another time. There will be pictures afterwards. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and that is it. Any requests that you guys have for me, just leave it down below. Comment and let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, I should be doing a video soon on my favorite lipsticks, um, my new addiction. <laughs> so um, I'll see you guys another time. God bless.